Hello friends and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today we are going to discuss about the PNB's fraud story, the 11,400 crores of scam that happened in PNB, right, by Mr. Nirav Modi and some of his companies. So how all that happened? All that happened just because two of the employees of PNB, one DM and a clerk, just two people, gave the LOUs, letter of undertaking letter of undertaking is a guarantee the guarantee to Nirav Modi and his companies without following the processes and without getting the collateral and the cash reserves so let's start student let me tell you how all that happened all that happened from fountain branch of PNB in the Mumbai so what is an LOU what is an LOU LOU is a bank guarantee it is simply a bank guarantee. Suppose there is an importer. Suppose he is an importer. Importer in India. And he wants to import products from let's say Belgium. He wants to import diamond from Belgium. Diamond from Belgium to India. So how the person in India is going to pay the person in diamond? There is no such cash transaction. At the time of making the deal, what the person in India do? He gets an LOU and in simple terms we call it LC. We, he gets an L LOU, the letter of undertaking or the guarantee from his bank. He goes to bank and gets the LOU. And then he shows this LOU to the exporter and which acts as a guarantee that in case the importer is not making the payment the bank will make the payment right then the exporter will you know send the diamonds or the products to the importer so that's how all this work LOU is nothing but the guarantee by the bank why the guarantee the bank should give the guarantee to somebody right so I even know that my father was in the business of you know purchasing the flat machinery they used to buy the flat machineries of like a few years back, let's say 30 lakh rupees from Germany. So whenever they go to their bank and ask for an LOU or the bank manager used to call it LC, the bank would ask for the cash reserve in the bank account, the cash reserve or the collateral. What is in your... I mean, suppose if my father had a property, the bank would ask, please give us collateral or cash reserve. In case, in case the importer refuses to make the payment to exporter, the bank is going to make the payment because bank is a guarantor here. So why the bank is going to take your guarantee? There is a process. So either you need to provide the cash reserve in your account or there should be a collateral. It, the collateral can be a property it can it can be any sort of property actually but in this case there are two persons a dm and a clerk of pnb who didn't follow this process who didn't ask for cash reserve and collateral who didn't ask for this they simply gave the guarantee to the person to the companies by getting the bribe maybe i'm not sure about that till now the reports are telling us that they got the bribe just two people and what happened next after getting this lou the the importer didn't go to the exporter right they didn't buy the diamonds with that lou instead of that this person went to hong kong to the foreign branches, abroad branches of Indian banks like Allahabad Bank, Access Bank and asked for money in lieu of LOUs. And when those Indian banks, they confirmed from the Indian branch of PNB by using the SWIFT, the Indian branch confirmed, the same two person confirmed yes this LOU is legit while there was no record in CBS are you getting me how, how that scam was happening two persons give the guarantee that yes 
that uh, that bank is giving the guarantee but there was no record in the cbs core banking solution where all the transaction must be recorded but there was no record there okay and the importers mr modi nirav modi he took these lous he took these guarantees and shown these guarantees to the abroad branches of indian banks and took money from those banks and those bank axis bank allahabad bank they actually confirmed from the indian branch via swift so what was the loophole here the swift and cbs were not integrated in pnb in most other banks the cbs and swift are integrated but in case of pnb it was not integrated they paid a big price so the name of the deputy manager was gokul nath shetty so he was a man he used his access to the swift messaging system we call it swift messaging system used by banks for the overseas transactions to authenticate the guarantees given on lou he authenticated that first of all he gave the false lous and then he gave false first of all he gave false lous and then he authenticated it he authenticated it he authenticated these guarantees in most other banks it is not even possible because the swift system the swift system and the cbs the swift system and cbs they are integrated they are integrated but in case of pnb it was not integrated so the gokul nath shetty he had an access to the swift system he was a dm so he authenticated the lous while there was no entry in the cbs there was no entry in the cbs cbs is the core banking solution each of the <clears throat> whenever there is a big ticket entry whenever there is a big ticket a big transaction that transaction is flagged so that the people at the headquarters they can oversee what is happening at the branch levels but that was the that transaction was not available on the cbs so based on such authentications the branch the based on such authentication overseas branches of several indian banks they give forex credit the basis of such lous that the pnb is guaranteeing that yes pnb is second largest psu bank in india when P pnb is guaranteeing that we will pay the money in case this person is not paying all that foreign branches abroad branches they were ready to you know give the forex loan to this companies so how and when it come came to light right so there was two cases right two two scenarios that actually happened the first one the fraud actually happened when the modi's companies solar exports stellar diamonds and the diamonds are us went again to pnb for your kind information exactly 140 plus lous were issued to the companies related to mr modi nirav modi okay 140 plus lous were issued to nirav modi during this period from 2011 to 2015 normally the period of lou revolves around 90 to 180 days but whenever one lou was expiring a new lo lou was issued so fraud was discovered when these companies solar exports stellar diamond and diamond r us went to pnb again and asked for a lou again but this time they discovered that you didn't provided us the collateral they got a reply that please provide us collateral please there is no cash reserve how we can give you the guarantee now how we can give you the loan now that was the case but see what these companies how these companies replied these companies said till now we never provided any kind of 
you know collateral or cash reserve still we were getting the lous why you are asking now we are getting the lous from a long time why now so that's why the pnb made a case with cbi that's why because of this reply everybody was in shock the second point that that's that's all was happening in january 2018 this year that all was actually happening in jan month of january 2018 the, in the mid january these two actually things were ha things happened in the january when earlier lous were matured and foreign branches didn't get their money they then turned to pnb to to ask for the money see the nirav modi actually took the loans the loans worth rupees 2000 2500000 from allahabad bank axis bank and the sbi also they he took the loan but he didn't pay obviously the pnb issued the lou although those were false lous but these banks confirmed from the mumbai branch of pnb and via swift and that branch confirmed that these lous are legit so they turned to pnb that give give our money back so these are the two cases these are the two you know turning points so what action pnb has taken pnb has suspended 10 employees and referred the case to cbi and ed so are other banks are affected yes of course the banks from which Uh, Mr. Nirav Modi and his companies took the loans, such as he took an estimated of two thousand to twenty-two hundred crore of loans from Allahabad Bank, the Hong Kong branch of Allahabad Bank, Union Bank two thousand to twenty-three hundred crores, Axis Bank two thousand crore, and State Bank of India nine hundred and sixty crores. So these are the major lenders to Mr. Nirav Modi. and union bank of india is all is already in big troubles right and now they they are losing this much of money so several indian banks with overseas bank will be impacted as they have provided loans based on these lous and pnb is right now denying the liability claiming that these lous were fraudulent even if pnb uh, agrees to pay how pnb is going to pay 11400 crore rupees it is a big money the value of pnb the total net worth of pnb is less than is is around 33000 100 uh, 33000 crore so the fraud is actually worth one third of the pnb's net worth how the pnb is going to pay for this at the end of the day the common man of india is going to pay for this there is frdi bill remember there is frdi bill if a bank goes bank corrupts right if a bank bank corrupts the deposit the depositors are going to pay for this it's not the government it is the common man who's going to pay in case i mean right now i just got a news that the pnb is going to pay this much money to all the banks and in case the pnb is paying this much money the net profit of pnb is i think 13 100 and Uh, 25 crore rupees last year. The annual profit of PNB was 13,225,325 crore rupees. That is the annual profit of PNB, and the value of fraud is 11,400 crores. In case the PNB goes bankrupt, who is going to pay? The employees of PNB are going to pay. the the depositors who deposited their you know lifelong earning with the pnb they are going to pay the government is not going to pay for this so here are the numbers the government was expected to infuse 5473000 uh, nahi 5473 crore rupees in pnb is equity and the fraud is eight times the bank's profit it is the bank's annual profit is 1325 crore while the value of fraud is 11400 crores so the shares of pnb 
they used to be in i think december 15 the 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 value of pnb share was like 217 rupees right now the value of pnb share is 125 rupees right now on the day when this news came out the shares of pnb went down by 18 percent the hard-earned money of investors that that got that was gone so that is a big problem so let's see what myths mr modi is going to do now and yes Nirav Modi and his family fled the country. And even the Gitanjali dwellers, Gitanjali gems actually, he's the uncle of Mr. Nirav. He's actually the, the it's owner of Mr. Choksi. He's, uh, I think, uncle of Nirav Modi. So, sad story for Indian depositors and public of India. I hope the CBI and the government of India is going to take strong actions. Till now, we got a news that jewelry worth of 5100 crores are seized from the showrooms and the offices of Mr. Nirav Modi's companies. So that is a good news. And Mr. Nirav Modi actually contacted, when PNB contacted Mr. Nirav Modi, Mr. Nirav Modi said that I can pay 5000 crore. I mean, he took 11,400 crore and he said, I can pay 5,000 crore and 5,400 crores, he want to take away this much money. So, so that's all for today, students. I hope this concept is clear to you. See you in the next lecture. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Very important for me. So if you are my student on Bank Exams Today's mobile app, so we also have a mobile application. We call it Bank Exams Today's mobile app. Please install my mobile app and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to upload this lecture on YouTube students. So that's all for today students. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.